You're watching UNICEF television. This is the heartland of the harshest land. Few roads lead to Daikundi, Afghanistan. So barren, so remote, not even the conflict reaches here. Even in the warmest months, mothers must rely on the oldest and cheapest way of getting around and getting help. As it is, Afghanistan is one of the worst countries in the world to be a mother, and Daikundi is the worst of the worst. To be a child is tougher still. Those who make it here to get rare medical help are the fortunate few. Habiba is heavily pregnant, but for now, her worry is for her third-born child, Sakina. She is in the red danger zone of malnutrition. She's been treated here for a week with her mother at her side. Sakina is given fortified nutritious biscuits and is released from hospital. Her mother now must start to think about her unborn child. Around her are reminders of what faces that child. More than half of Afghanistan's children are chronically malnourished and nearly 200 out of every thousand children do not live to see their fifth birthday. And most of those deaths could easily have been prevented with clean water, decent food and basic treatment to prevent killers like diarrhea. Just to have a basic checkup is literally an uphill battle for Habiba. She has to walk across three hilltops in scorching heat to a different building some two kilometers away. No wonder nine out of ten mothers do not give birth in a health facility. The cost of transport is beyond their reach. Government health teams visit the remotest of these remote parts of Daikundi province only five or six times a year. Doctors are unheard of. For these women, the visiting midwife is their doctor, their nurse, their carer, their lifeline. Most of the women here are child brides. They live far away from health facilities. They work the whole day in the fields. They're not educated at all. And they all come from very poor economic conditions. Training midwives and community health workers who go door to door and counsel pregnant women and mothers on reproductive health and hygiene is key. Here, they run all the standard tests. Iron deficiency is an important one, but there are no major worries for her yet. If her biba was dangerously anemic, she could lose her life or lose her baby, like Fatima did four months ago. Mm. Fatima's ill health and extreme poverty led to her baby boy dying during childbirth. Her story is typical here. At 15, she had to marry a man 40 years older than her. All her daughters were born at home with no medical help. Today, Fatima is still weak. As she prepares her family's daily meal of bread and tea, she recounts her loss. I lost my child because I couldn't go to the health facility as it was very far. If a hospital can be built nearby, then we all will be very grateful. Even now, I'm so weak that I can barely do my daily chores or work in the field. I really miss my child. Whenever I see babies from other houses, I miss him so much. I feel so sad. Ironically, for a country in conflict, the most dangerous thing a woman can do in Daikundi is to give birth and for a child to be born. So the aim here is to get the international community to invest in this neglected province and see a peace dividend pay off so that the desperate won't turn to growing poppies for opium or move to volatile Kandahar and Kabul. UNICEF and other UN agencies and NGOs have ambitious plans for Daikundi, a target province of the country. The aim is to provide a minimum package of care, health, nutrition, better water and sanitation for most of the women and children here by 2013. It's important that the international community understands that it's not only a health problem. It has to be solved with the engagement of all sectors. 
especially uh, transportation and telecommunication, and also all sectors related to the improving the economy of the families, like the food security, agriculture. And we should not forget education, because the girls who are attending the school today will be the mothers of tomorrow, and they need to be empowered to take decisions when it comes to, to their health and life, and the health and life of their children. In Daikundi, Today's parents know that they won't be able to boost tomorrow's generation without a helping hand. And in this forgotten province of Afghanistan, that is exactly what is needed. This is Sarah Crow in Daikundi province, Afghanistan. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.